guys. Unfortunately, it's too dark for me to go on the camera. So let's watch this. Swear to God. So let's watch this. Creepy Cryptids from Around the World, Part 9. The Smiling Man. I couldn't find many details about the smiling via research. Good for this one. I just share the original tale that game legend. The following was posted to Reddit's notes by user Blue Title in April of 2012. About five years ago, I lived downtown in a major city in the U.S. I've always been a night person. So I would often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend time thinking. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night, and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. It was Wednesday, somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning, and I was walking near a police patrolled park, quite a ways away from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was on most nights, was completely empty. I turned down a short side street in order to loop back to my apartment when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street, on my side, was the silhouette of a man, dancing. It was a strange dance, similar to a waltz, but he finished each box with an odd forward stride. I guess you could say he was a dance walking, headed straight for me. Deciding he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me. The closer he got, the more I realized how gracefully he was moving. He was very tall and lanky and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still until I could make out his face. His eyes were open wide and wild, head tilted back slightly, looking all at the sky. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. Between the eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. As I reached the other side, I glanced back. And then I stopped dead in my tracks. He had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel with me. He was facing me, but still looking skyward, no. smile still wide on his lips. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again, but kept my eyes on the man. He did not move. Once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. The street and sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. For the briefest of moments, I felt relieved until I noticed him. He had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadows, but I was certain he was facing me. I had looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. I was so shocked that I stood there for some time, staring at him. And then he started moving toward me again. He was giant, exaggerated tiptoe steps, as if he was a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. Except he was moving very, very quickly. I'd like to say at this point that I ran or pulled out my pepper spray or my cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. I just stood there, completely frozen as the smiling man crept toward me. And then he stopped again, about a car length away from me, still 
smiling his smile, still looking at the sky. When I finally found my voice, I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. What I had meant to ask was, what do you want? In an angry, commanding tone. What came out was a whimper. What? What? Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, they can certainly hear it. I heard it in my own voice, and that only made me more afraid. But he didn't react at all. He just stood there, smiling. And then, after what felt like forever, he turned around, very, very slowly, and started dance walking away, just like that. Not wanting to turn my back on him again, I just watched him go until he was far enough away to be almost out of sight. And then, I realized something. He wasn't moving away anymore, nor was he dancing. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him grew larger and larger. He was coming back my way, and this time, he was running. I ran too. I ran until I was off the side road and back onto a better lit road with some traffic. Looking behind me then, he was nowhere to be found. The rest of the way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night, and I never went out for another walk. There was something about his face that always haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He was completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. Now, dear listener, I know a lot of you may not consider the smiling man a cryptid, but I, I just have a hard time believing he's human. He sounds more like a humanoid creature or possibly something demonic. So, with that said, the Smiling Man is one of the dozens of creatures featured in my new board game, Encounters, the cryptid hunting game. To learn more about the game and pre-order your copy, check out the link in my bio. Uncurdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 26. Atoms are 99% nothing, which makes us 99% nothing as well. Also, if you come in contact with someone or something, you're not actually touching them. You're simply sensing the repulsion between your atoms and theirs. You can get bed bugs from movie theater seats. In 1386, a French pig was publicly executed for the murder of a child. The pig was given full legal representation and provided human clothes for the trial. A seven-year-old South African girl is more likely to be raped than to receive an education. In the 1950s, many babies in orphanages didn't cry very often because they knew their cries wouldn't be answered. Hans Seth, the man with the longest beard in history, died when he pushed over it and cracked his neck. The maximum prison sentence in Brazil is 30 years, meaning that mass murderers like Pedro Rodriguez Bello, who killed over 100 people, are walking free today. Want to see something freaky? We'll take a look at some old footage. This is from the Theodore Brills Assisted Living Community and its security footage from back in the 80s. This camera would just kind of generally face this hallway, but one night it caught something very eerie in this particular frame. Before we get into it, I have got to say thank you to you for making my podcast, Creep Time the Podcast, number 18 in the whole country. I'm very grateful. So if you have not listened to Creep Time the Podcast, go click the link in my bio. If you look to the background of this footage, on the right, there appears to be an elderly woman just standing there. What really kind of freaked everybody out is that everybody recognized this woman. The staff could tell that this was Blanche Raymond. The problem is, Blanche Raymond died two years earlier in 1984. Still, the consensus from the staff is that the footage clearly shows who they recognize to be this woman. Just feasibly no explanation for it. How do we explain this footage? Hey, look, a pizza. You gotta let him into your house now. Three photos with terrifying backstories. This photo was taken in the middle of the night from a Reddit user who swore they could hear noises coming from their kitchen. And it almost looks innocent until you zoom in. I don't like whatever was going on in there. 
A reminder to you that if you like spooky things, you'll love my podcast. The most recent episode is all true ghost stories. This next photo was taken by a woman who was driving down an area in Connecticut that she said was haunted. She claimed she was taking a photo of one man walking, but when she looked back at the photo later, there were two. And this photo looks harmless enough until you realize that the user used to have a cat that would do this to their toilet paper rolls. But the cat passed away months before this photo was taken, and the user lives alone. So what do you think? Things that you weren't meant to see. Stingray eating a fish. An octopus riding on an eel while trying not to get eaten. I mean, I guess he played it safe. This is what a cloud bursting looks like. Bye.